This is your six sports report. Good evening everyone, I'm Laura Zaliska. The area round of high school football kicked off tonight and the Gregory Portland Wildcats battled the Alamo Heights Mules. Our own Patrick Johnstone is in Quero. Are the Wildcats moving on? Well, Larissa, the Wildcat season comes to an end here in Gobbler Stadium. Let's take a look at how this game shook out. The Wildcats coming off a big win in round one in the playoffs, hoping to repeat. They started off well. The defense forces a turnover on downs in both of their first two drives for the Mules. This one a stuff on fourth and short, and the ball just short of the chains, but their offense couldn't get anything done, and eventually the defense breaks. It's Conley McKenna to Rhett Anderson, the Mules to first on the board with a 35-yard touchdown to make it 7-0. And the Mules break out the trick play. McKenna over to Michael Terry, the third, breaks the tackle and tosses it back to McKenna, who runs for the short touchdown to make it 14-0. The defense comes back alive. McKenna looking to scramble and it's going to be Kaleem Goldsby forces the fumble and it's Ross Dubose to fall on it to pick it up. The Wildcats offense can't do anything. They're down 21-0 at the half. But in the fourth quarter, look at this. Brandon Redden hurt week one. He is in at quarterback. Played a little bit of quarterback earlier this season, but in the playoffs, he's going to find an open Dubose. The deep pass into the night. Dubose catches it for the touchdown. However, the Wildcats fall in this one, 31 to eight, the final. Now after the game, I spoke to Redden about what it means for him to come back from that injury and play with this team here in the playoffs. Okay. I mean, it just feels amazing. I know I just worked really hard to just get back. I mean, I know it's a physical sport and all, but you know, I just have my heart for this game and my teammates, I love my teammates, I love all of them. And you know, I just really did it for them and these coaches, this coaching staff is great. And I mean, it just feels amazing. It's not all about me. I mean, the touchdown pass is great, but you know, I just love this team. The Wildcats finish with a record of eight and four here in this season. Reporting in Cuero, Patrick Johnstone, Chris X News.